Welcome to part 58 of the Lady Prince Hunter Baby Challenge. And in this episode, Lady Prince goes to the dance party. Gorillac and Lynx are born. Uh, Gorat, or Gorat, Renfield and Chad and Satin age up. So that's good. This, this is also a very short video. And of course, I'm not doing comment. Of course, I'm damn doing commentary. I'm just not doing commentary in front of my video. I mean... <laughs> I'm sitting here in my room and not watching the video as I'm doing this commentary. <laughs> yep, another one of them days. Anyways, I wish this is a short video, like 15 and a half minute videos, because the next clip is like 15 minutes. I don't know why I didn't make like a 30 minute video. That would have worked better. But then again, I'd rather have a 15 and a half minute video than a 30 minute video. Don't worry, I think the next video is 30 minutes. Um, I'm working on uh, the Male Prince Hunter Baby Challenge. I've got like the Male Sim Hunter Baby Challenge Season 3, which is after four generations of female prints, we have the actual prints in the grandchild version of the Hunter Baby Challenge. Which is means he has he has kids and then his kids and then the grandkids count towards the hunter baby challenge. Like I did with Kai in the first season of the male hunter baby challenge. Anyways, um, I think I only got uh, not that many episodes. Let's see how many episodes I got of that. Only six, and it'd be cool. I seen somebody doing a, some quarantine versions, some quarantine challenges for Sims 4. Like, they'll take a regular challenge and make it quarantined, a quarantine part, addition to it. I'm currently trying to, I currently just finished an episode, of the very first episode of a Hunter Baby Challenge quarantine edition. And the way they're doing it is the Sim can't leave the house and the children have to be homeschooled how are you gonna in the men you have to meet you're gonna have to try and uh like hire a service or something or hire roommates and you and you can't leave the lot to go find them well i don't know how you're gonna homeschool your kids i guess i have to watch later episodes see how many episodes this person made and have the, and I like to know how they uh, homeschool their children. Because seriously, how you homeschool kids in Sims Four? I like to know that. I like to get that far. And, and, and the way I'm doing it now for the male hunter baby challenge with pr with Prince is he can't leave the lot. He can't leave. He can go outside. But he can't leave his lot. He can't go anywhere. He can't go clubbing. He can't go to any festivals. He, he can't go on any dates. He has to stay on the lot. You can, of course, he can leave his house. But he, he has... Like, sometimes they can't control what the Sims do. He can stay on his lot. His kids, however... Most of the time, they are quarantined, especially when they're toddlers. So... So what I do is they're going to have to go to school and move, get their grades up and move out, okay? Prince is the only one who can't leave the house. And as far as meeting someone, I made women to put in his household. I mean, some of them made women so he can get with. So what I plan on doing doing there is every time I go into, to, uh, manage, to, to manage world... I move. It's like I did with Kai, okay? At least Kai went out and did stuff. Prince won't. I don't know if that'll be boring for some people to watch. <laughs> I, I'm, I guess I'll find out. Because in the Prince Hunter Baby Challenge, it's called Season 3 Dash Quarantined. Well, Prince is not going to be able to leave the lot. He can. I can have. Go to Manage Worlds, move in a girlfriend. For him to get with. I'll have the woman. The girlfriend get a job. 
That way there's some kind of income coming in th- coming through the house. But he can't get a job. And he has to stay quarantined. So, I don't know how long this series is going to last, to be honest. He, I mean, he has already a long series called the Super Sim Challenge. So, this series might not be that long. It's, it's a quarantine edition of the 100 Baby Challenge. Yep, that's what I'm calling it. But with a male Sim... I'm trying it on a male Sam. He can't, like I said, he can't leave the lot. Anyone else can. But he can't. He has to stay. Of course, everybody else can leave because, huh, I haven't figured out how you're going to homeschool your Sims. How are you going to homeschool your child's and teenage Sims? How? I haven't got that far in the Quarantine Hunter Baby Challenge series yet. I forgot who was doing that series. Um, hold on. Let me pause this real, real quick. I had to check YouTube. I wasn't sure if I go into YouTube that this was going to close out my vo- my voice memo, which is where I do most of my uh, commentary. Uh, I don't I don't know how to pronounce this this girl's la- this woman's last name. Uh, Sydney. Uh, Mac Macaretta. I'm probably butchering that last name. Yeah, uh, she has a, cha- a channel on YouTube. Uh, she she has a series called the One Hundred Baby Challenge Quarantine Edition, and I only really got to the first episode because I just discovered it. Okay, I just discovered it, and I like to get as far as figuring out how you homeschool your kids and teenagers. As far as I'm concerned, and once I figure that out. I think I'm going to watch that before I continue on the baby challenge because I don't want to screw it up. I want to see if, if it works, how she's doing it, because I really want to figure it out. Well, so far, I did six episodes. And I've tried renovating Prince's house, too, because, you know the uh, Volcano Lakes build that I made? And I had it sitting in Solani. I didn't like it in Solani because we played two seasons of the Female Hunter Baby Prin- Prince Challenge in Solani. <laughs> so like right now we're in Solani. And and the yeah, the second generation, the fourth generation is in Solani. And the third generation's in in Strangerville. So I'm gonna have the Prince I for the first couple two three two three episodes uh we're in Solani. But then I used the, with, I moved the house in uh, to I moved the house to uh, Del Sol Valley. I kind of like I haven't used Del Sol Valley in a long time, so we're using it. I'm gonna be using it. I don't know what this word crap because why am I saying we're gonna work on it? Why did I say that? Who's we? It's just me. Anyways, uh, Del Sol Valley. And it's like a spinoff to the Lady Prince Hunter Baby Challenge, because at the end of the fourth, after end of the fourth generation, the season, the series finale, the fourth generation Lady Prince gives birth to Lady Kai, which is the daughter of Kai, and Prince, this isn't Bard Prince, and his father some. His father Stanley Tweedle. <laughs> so there's two spinoffs and two different gameplay. There's two different game- new gameplays. But I saved the household for Ka- for Lady Kai, but not for. I've only saved Lady Prince and Stanley for the for the Isambard Prince Hunter Baby Challenge because I started that. Ch- not his siblings are in this one because I started this challenge just before I ended the series the before I finished recording the series the fourth generation man I'm so glad that's not 134 episodes which means you know how many episodes are left of this series mm, I'm guessing 76. There's 76 episodes left of the series. 
I'm not kidding. 76 episodes. That's a lot if you think about it. Huh. I can tell you that the, that the next video is going to be long. Just to make up for having a short video. <laughs> 15 and a half minutes. I could have had a 30 minute video. But I don't, I don't know why I didn't. Because the next video costs 15 minutes. I could have added that. But I didn't. Because I'm stupid. <laughs> Anyways. What else is to talk about for the next five minutes? I'm trying to think of something. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I want to talk about my friend Tom. Uh, he talks more about his, his uh, made-up <laughs> fictional character for a Lex fan fiction called Zever. He's created. He's come up with some good, like, attributes for his character, like what, like a background story and stuff like that. Like, since the, since the, since he became he was like he's like his sister Zev, but they both suffered the same punishment, and both became both became part cluster lizard. But here's the thing: the Lusticon didn't completely work up. He's got the physical look of him. I mean, he's got the he's a perfect he's got the perfect body of a man. But then again. The Lust Nikon didn't completely work on him because it's meant for women. So he didn't get he didn't get a hyperactive libido like Zev did. Uh I think his I think the Lusticon took away his libido. Whatever he had before the Lusticon is gone. <laughs> I mean, he he remembers what it's like, but he's like Kai. It's just an intellectual con it's just an intellectual concept. Uh, that's something. And but he's also he's like since he's part closer lizard, he's he has unnatural strength. He he looks he's uh, in in my version I decided to add that he could be part Bruno and Jude. Like he like some some parts some Bruno and G's had descendants that probably left the planet at the time before all, before the war with the divine order before the foreshadow came some probably left is that oh, i'm in out of here <laughs> you never know and populated you never know and then part of that populate and part of the some brunities leaving before the foreshadow arrived um, Zever could have been a descendant. The problem is, I think the reason Zev went to the wife bank, because Zev and Zever were fraternal twins. Meaning, they may have been in, shared the same space, but they had their own personalities. Anyways, so, they're not identical twins, they're... Considering the the way Zev looked before Xenia Seberg took over, and his and Zever's look is based on the new Zev when when Xenia Seberg took over. His look Zever's look is based on how Zev with the X looks, not Zev with the Z. So they're fraternal. And he does look kind of bringy. His hair's he's got that blonde long blonde hair like to his shoulders. And he's wearing a bringy outfit. I think and Zev, however, didn't get that Brunin G part. Brunin that Brunin G part, okay? She ended up not being part Brunin G for some reason. And the parents were kind of disappointed in that. And that's why they send her didn't feel bad sending her off to the wife bank. I think they were kind of on the side of having a Brunin G to uh, what do you call that? Um, fulfill the prophecy of the last of the Brunin G. I think they were on that side. But since, that, since they, they did like a test with, with the two kids 
with Zev and Zev to find out which one was Vernon G, I think. That's some kind of DNA test done. And Zev wasn't part Vernon G. So they didn't feel bad giving her up to the white paint. But with um, Zephyr, they kept and educated him on the prophecy. Anyways, this is the end of this episode, so stay tuned for part 59, where we do have some aging up. So stay tuned for part 59.